you know. Zach didn't want any of the fluffy edges. He didn't write it with any soft edges, you know. This is like, uh, we're really gonna show you what the enemy looks like. And we're, we're not gonna make this like TV friendly, you know, even in the PG-13, it's like, it's brutal. And that's the beauty of Zach's cut is that you, it's just, and there are Easter eggs about those elements in mm -hmm. the in the PG-13. But then when you watch Radar, it's like, oh, that's what you meant when you said that because you do that. Sophia, Ed, thank you so much for taking your time with us today on the movie podcast. The movie is absolutely massive in scale. And I'm sure as the entries kind of continue, it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. So really excited for fans to kind of see the world that Zach's created. I mean, the room that we're in right now is already very cool looking. So I'm sure that yeah. as they keep seeing the world keep yeah. going, it's going to be awesome. Um, Sophia, I'm curious for yourself. You've spoken about how you were able to bring the fear to Cora. You know, you, you talked about moving from Algeria to France to mm -hmm. LA. You really see that in the character that you kind of bring. And I'm curious for yourself, what is something that you kind of learned from Cora and have applied to yourself? Mm -hmm. Probably, I, I, I really like the place that, I mean, even though she's not an emotional, complete like stability when you first meet her but she has found for herself a place of peace and she has found a place she has found herself in a place where she can be grateful and you can see that when she touches the ground and smells it and and I f and even though she is still very much wounded and and but she has found a bit of calm and peace and I feel like I I just I just like that for her, and I think I need that. <laughs> I, <think so. laughs> I love that. The, the calmness, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Ed, you, you've also spoken about how this is like the role of a lifetime for you, and when you look at back to your previous roles, you've you played so many memorable antagonists. What do you want audiences to really take away from Atticus Noble? I've, I don't think I've ever gone this far, you know? Zach didn't want any of the fluffy edges. He didn't write it with any soft edges, you know? This is like... Uh, we're really gonna show you what the enemy looks like. And we're not gonna make this like TV friendly, you know, even in the PG-13, it's like, it's brutal. And um, you're really gonna get to know Atticus Noble uh, and, um, and what he's really like in the R-rated versions. <laughs> I think that if anyone has ever enjoyed any of my antagonists in the past, then this is like, that on steroids. This yeah. is it turned up to to level 3,000. Uh, you, you definitely know? feel that, especially if you're saying in, in the R cuts, it's gonna get even more yeah. worse. I'm kind of scared to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm scared. I mean, <laughs> I literally, I sat there in the screening room um, and I watched it and I was like, I don't recognize this person. It doesn't mm -hmm. feel like me, like he kind of looks like me, but like. And there are more elements in the rated R that you'll find out about, about Noble that, yeah. ha that you have no notion of in movie number one. Wow. And that's the beauty of Zach's cut is that you, it's just, and there are Easter eggs about those elements in mm -hmm. the in the PG-13, but then when you watch Radar, it's like, oh, that's what you meant when you said that because you do that. Right. But you, you have to watch the Radar to yeah. understand. Oh, I love that. I, I can't remember seeing, <laughs> seeing an antagonist be pushed this far. You know, we've seen an incredible antagonists, but like, again, just, Un, un, un uh, apologetic, yeah. pushing it all the way. So, yeah, I think me, me, and me and Zach are a dangerous combination in that. I think uh, so. We kind of push each other like kids in the playground. Yeah. No, I absolutely love that. And you know, speaking of Zach, his previous movies are all obviously fantastic, and there's so many rich characters that you can kind of pick from. I'm curious for yourselves: is there someone that you would love to kind of take on in a fight from, like, as your character from a previous movie of his? Be honest. Yeah, I would like to just sit and watch that with some popcorn. Really? Yeah. Actually, a fight against or yeah, fight with? Fight oh, against. against. Oh no, probably. Uh, what's it called? The the the, the other guy. You uh, would be up. No, no, no. The no the the. I want to fight the tall gold guy. The, yeah, yeah. Oh, the Ottoman okay, Empire. Yes, yes. What's his name? What's oh, his not, I'm blanking out too. Xerxes. Yes, that's it. I would fight Xerxes. I'd like to fight Xerxes. Awesome. I think I think Noble versus Rorschach would be. Um, oh would be incredible. Be very cool. Any fans out there that want to make any fan fiction, yeah. then uh, yeah, I, I challenge you. I Rorschach that. versus Atticus Noble. I love that. I asked Zach the same question. He, he said he'd love to see Korra fight Batman. Oh. Oh, oh wow. That'd be cool. Yeah. yeah I would love you and Ben Affleck just going at it. I love that. 
But, yeah, ba- the, but I, Batman has a lot of gadgets. Mm. A lot of gadgets. I mean, Korra's one of the cleverest fighters, isn't she? Yeah. Really good like with a gun and a sword, so. I, I wouldn't mind seeing Korra beat up Wonder Woman. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. The movie's so, so fantastic. And I can't wait for people to watch it and just kind of get immersed into it as well. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, thank you. Thanks thank so you. much. Thank, thank you. you so much.